The stack, 10K, biomass, gasifier. This gasifier employs a stratified downdraft gasifier design. In the hands of a knowledgeable operator, our improved design biomass gasifier will enable the user to power engines for vehicle transport and off-grid power generation. It can be used in endless thermal applications where propane or natural gas is currently used. For these reasons, our biomass gasifier is perfect for emergency situations where no fuel is available to anyone. Product features of the model stack, 10K, biomass gasifier. The unit features a stratified downdraft gasification design, compact structure, high efficiency, and simple operation. It produces gas fast, in 1 to 2 minutes. Biomass fuel can be added conveniently, while simultaneously generating gas. There is no need to shut down to add more fuel, ensuring consistent operation for the user. The gasifier features an exceptional filtration system, containing both a liquid water purifier, as well as a bed filter. This system ensures that the tar content, ash content, and moisture content of the gas, is kept to a minimum, and the gas is clean. The entire unit occupies only one square meter of floor space. The gasifier can be started without relighting, up to 20 hours later, simply by opening the air entry and turning on the blower. Items included, with the purchase of a model stack, 10K, biomass gasifier, downdraft gasifier unit, gas cooler and filtration unit, blower assembly, high temperature gaskets, valves, and assembly bolts, gasifier cleaning or operating tools, tabletop stuff for emergency situations, cooking, or experimentation, operating and instruction manual, gasification information CD, and assembly and operation video. Operating, the stack, 10K, biomass gasifier. Step 1. Fuel preparation. Although wood chips or blocks, for the preferred gasification fuel, our gasifier can successfully produce fuel from many materials like, milk cutoffs, corn cobs, corn snover, straw, peanut husks, walnut shells, dense biomass pellets, and so on. For best results, most biomass material should be approximately 1 inch in length. Very fine materials, like sawdust, should be pelletized before use. Pelletizing is the process of pressing fine ground materials into dense fuel pellets. Most available biomass feedstocks do not require pelletizing. However, pelletizing equipment provides opportunities to produce fuel from more waste products. For the best pelletizing equipment and information, please visit www.statproperties.com. It is important to note, that when using smaller biomass materials, such as dense biomass pellets, that the grate may be lined, with heavy gauge, 3x3, steel mesh. This can help prevent pellets from falling through the grate, into the ash bin. Step 2. Adding, Filtration Media. Open the door of the filter compartment. Fill the compartment, with filter media. Many materials may be used for filtration, such as wood chips, corn cobs, or charcoal. In the demonstration, corn cobs are being used. It is important to note, that when using the same gas to power an internal combustion engine, that the filter compartment should be filled with fine, felt, filtration material. Step 3. Filling the water purifier. Fill the purifier with water, to a level approximately 5 inches from the bottom of the unit. Once the unit is full, place the end, of the overflow hose, inside the filling port. Step 4. Filling the sink gas cooler. Fill the sink gas cooler until it is completely full. Note that the water inlet and outlet may be connected to a recirculating pump and heat exchanger when extended run times are required or for hot water heating applications. Step 5. Starting the gasifier. For demonstration purposes, the tabletop stove, included with the purchase of a model STAT 10K biomass gasifier is shown. It is perfect for cooking during emergency situations and is great for experimentation. Turn on the valve of the vent pipe, then plug in the exhauster. Fill the reactor, half full, with biomass materials. Light a piece of scrap newspaper and place it inside the reactor. Once the biomass materials are burning, and are glowing red in color, place additional biomass materials, inside the reactor, until it is completely full. Press the electric igniter pulse switch. Then, open the gas valve for the chosen burner. 
Once the stove is lit, close the valve of the vent pipe. The stove takes between 8 and 12 minutes to boil 1 gallon of water, which is comparable to natural gas. The caloric value of the gas is between 4600 and 5200 kilojoules per cubic meter. Once 50% of the biomass materials are consumed, it is important to refill the reactor until it is completely full. Each burner has an independent valve to control the height of the flame. The valves are located on each side of the stove. Thank you for your interest in STAT Properties Biomass Gasification Technology. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation. For more information and the best alternative energy products available, visit us online at www.statproperties.com. That's S-T-A-K-Properties.com.